Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. If you guys don't know who I am, my name is Madison. And in today's video, we are packing. Packing for what, you might ask? I am leaving for Alaska tomorrow. Yes, I am so excited. Today is Monday, May 17th, so we leave on the 18th. And I am beyond excited. We have a full packed vacation planned so we're gonna pack today our flight leaves at 8 30 in the morning so I have to be up at like 5 but my room is a total disaster at the moment I washed my makeup brushes I got my makeup set out ready to go got my outfits picked out so I'm just gonna show you how I pack it and the process I do in order to get ready for a vacation but stay tuned for the following video because I am going to be vlogging the entire trip so stay tuned for that, but without further ado, let's get on to this video because I'm running out of time. Suitcase number two. I'm, I think I'm going to take this one, but I think there's a suitcase inside of this one too that I need to take out. And there's a baby suitcase. <laughs> Little baby one. I think this is the one I'm going to take. Oh look, mom left a scrunchie in there for me. Nice. Now let's get to packing. I know it's super hectic right now, but I have my clothes laid out day by day. Uh, when we get there tomorrow, we're gonna go to dinner. Then Wednesday, we're doing whale watching, so I'm bringing these because, you know, we might get wet in a sweater. Definitely layering up. We're gonna go on a helicopter ride, so that's that one, not too cold. We're gonna go ATV riding. So I'm definitely bundling up with that one. And then we're gonna go on an 11 hour boozy train ride on Saturday. And then I'm bringing this really big puffer jacket just as a layer piece. And then all of my pajamas back there with some leggings right there. And then of course I have my batteries for my camera, a selfie stick. I always bring my own face towel because it just, uh, I, I prefer to use my own instead of ones I don't know where they've been. Of course an airplane pillow because it's going to be a very long ride. My undergarments, some mini sized traveling things, definitely some earplugs. And then this is pretty much all of the makeup I am going to take with me. So that's pretty much the gist of everything I'm bringing. Um, I'll probably pack some extra jewelry pieces and some extra backs just in case something happens to them. But clothing wise, I might pack a couple other things. I'll show you if I do, but that's pretty much it. I like to plan them out each day so I'm not bringing a bunch of unnecessary, unnecessary so I'm not bringing a bunch of unnecessary pieces of clothing. I need to pack socks and underwear, so. Right on time, we fell right into each other. Couldn't pull myself away, and I know love is blind, so reputation didn't matter. I just pulled out all of my socks. These are more of like slipper socks. They're super thick and fuzzy. I got all different sizes of socks. I'm packing some gloves, three of these little caps, and a couple sports bras and my underwear. So I think now I'm gonna go ahead and try and fit everything into this suitcase and see where we're at. So there's a zipper pouch right here. And I'm gonna put all of my undergarments in there so that they're secure and they're all in one place. I do not fold them. I ain't got time for that. There ain't no reason to be folding your panties. Now how I put my clothes in my suitcase is I do it by day. I don't fold all of my shirts and put them in one and my pants in the other. I fold them and put them in by the day so I can just pull out the entire outfit without having to rummage through the entire suitcase and messing it up. So we're going to do it day by day. It doesn't matter, does it, babe? But I've always got this feeling in the back of my mind that you'll find someone else and then you'll leave me behind. Y'all going out and I won't be sleeping at night. It's harder than I make it look. I guess that's why they call them trust. 
Cause I never, never had them before I met you So scared you break my heart I've never been a girl who is paranoid Got feelings that I can't avoid Don't know where I got them I guess that's why they call them trust issues We're gonna do a test closing to make sure everything closes Nope, the, the zipper got stuck and I'm not going to fight with it the whole time so I'm just going to move it into the bigger suitcase because I'm not going to deal with that all week. At least in this one I can fit all of my daytime clothing all in one section so this might be the, the better option anyway. Angle's cute. That took a lot out of me. I still have to pack my makeup, my hair stuff, my toiletries, but I'm just glad the clothes are away and I have plenty of space for all of this little stuff that I need to pack still. So we're doing good. We're doing good. I'm going to be packing my masks in my carry on or my purse pretty much. But I'm going to go ahead and pack my toiletries that I'm not going to be using tonight or tomorrow morning. So I'm going to go ahead and pack those and then fit them in the suitcase. This is my husband's little thing that I like to take when I'm traveling because he doesn't use it as much as I do. So we got my mini shampoos, body wash, toothpaste, mouthwash, and this new toothbrush. I don't like to take my electric toothbrush with me. I like to just do a standard in case I forget it. I do not want to forget my electric toothbrush. And Q-tips because, you know, Q-tips. And then I will put my face wash and stuff in here tomorrow morning just because I'll be using it tonight. But that's where it's going to go and it's going to go right in the suitcase. Makeup wipes. Ordinary face wash and moisturizer, a razor, oh, and a scrubby. I need my little silicone scrubby and we're just gonna pack all that in here. Now I have to pack my makeup, so we're gonna do that and then we're pretty much done. And I did all this in a day. in this bag except for my my brushes which I always pack in this bag because it's big so I will have these two for my makeup and that's pretty good I think I did pretty good on that I'm packing two hair ties two little clips and a big clip because you never know what you're gonna need I'm gonna pack that some little hair elastics because I think I'm gonna braid my hair I don't know Gonna pack those just in case. My hairbrush, which I need to clean out, it is dirty. And I think I'm gonna pack my straightener. I'm gonna transfer everything into a smaller wallet so that it's just easier to carry and doesn't take up that much room. So I'm pretty much just gonna take my ID and two different credit cards, and that's pretty much it. I'm gonna put that right here up front so that it's easy to grab in the airport. And then in the main part, we've got my batteries for my camera, my selfie stick, a couple different masks. I'm also going to put one up at the front. Earplugs, I'm going to stick in the back zipper right there. Some chapstick, going to go right there at the front as well. And my nail file. 
a sleeping mask. It is going to be a long flight. I do plan on sleeping. I am a sleeper. Just going to chuck that in there. And my pillow. This has a clamp on it. So I can just like clip it to my purse. And I don't have to carry it. Super handy. Now all that's left to do is curl my hair for tonight. Pack my heat protectant and my hairbrush. And I'm good to go to wake up at five o'clock tomorrow morning. Oh, and I do need to pack my watch charger and my cell phone charger, but like I said, I'm using those tonight, so I'll have to remember to pack them in the morning, but that is it. So I really hope you guys enjoyed today's video with this packing with me. I know it was kind of hectic because I had to think of everything I was packing while packing it, making sure I didn't forget anything. But if you did enjoy this video, please like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell for updates when I post because next video is going to be even more exciting because that's the video of me in Alaska. So stay tuned for that and I will see you next time. Bye. Why is it gotta be so complicated?